Does the Sun Sleep? Noticing Sun, Moon, and Star Patterns by Martha E. H. Rustad, illustrated by Holly Conger. Table of Contents, Chapter 1, The Sun, located on page 4. Chapter 2, The Moon, located on page 12. Chapter 3, The Stars, located on page 16. Shadow Tracking, page 22. Glossary, page 23. To Learn More, page 24. Index, page 24. Chapter 1. Our class is starting the day outside. Look up, says our teacher, Mr. Cruz. What do you see in the sky? The early morning moon catches Aisha's eye. Isha's eye. Look at that airplane, says Nito. Tara points at the sun behind a cloud. Good observations, our teacher says. He has already taught us that an observation is something we see. Never look directly at the sun. Direct sunlight harms your eyes. Mr. Cruz leads us back to our classroom. He asks what a pattern is. Akiko raises her hand. It's something that happens again and again. Right, says Mr. Cruz. Can anyone think of a pattern that the sun follows? It shines during the day, Dex Dexter says, and we can't see it at night. Day, night, day, night, says Akiko. A pattern. Let's see how the sun's position changes during the day, says Mr. Cruz. First, he shows us a picture of the sky in the morning. The sun's near the horizon, he says. That's the line where the sky and land seem to meet. The sun doesn't really move across the sky. It only looks like it's moving because the earth is spinning. Next, he shows us a picture at the sky at noon. We see the sun high in the sky. Then he shows us a picture of the sun in the evening. The sun is near the horizon again. It's another pattern, Alice says. Yes, says our teacher. Every day the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Does the sun sleep at night, Jacob asks. Mr. Cruz smiles. No, he says, the sun never stops shining. He makes the room dark and shines a flashlight on a globe. We pretend that the light is the sun. Then Mr. Cruz slowly spins the globe. He tells us that our planet spins too. I get it, says Dean. When it's day on one side of the earth, it's night on the other side. Yes, our teacher says. When we are getting up, people in Australia are going to bed. It takes earth 24 hours to spin all the way around once. Chapter two, the moon. Mr. Cruz asks us about the moon. Can you think of patterns it follows? The moon changes shape each night, says Tara. Sometimes it's round like an O, and sometimes it's only a sliver like a C. The moon follows a pattern of waxing and waning. Waxing means growing bigger. Waning means growing smaller. And sometimes we can't see it at all, says Nito. Why does it keep changing? First, Mr. Cruz tells us that the moon does not shine by itself. It is lit by light from the sun. Then he shines a flashlight on the globe. He asks Jacob to hold up a small moon. The moon travels around earth, he says. We can only see, only, we see only the part of the moon that is lit up by the sun. That's why the moon's shape seems to change from night to night. The moon rises in the east and sets in the west, just like the sun. Chapter three, the stars. Mr. Cruz asks, what else do we see in the sky at night? Stars, say, say Alice and Dion. Isha asks, why don't we see stars during the day? 
We talk about how stars shine all the time, but the stars are very far away so that their light is dim. It's too dim for us to see in the sunlight. Stars look small, but they are actually very big. They are much bigger than Earth or other planets. They look small because they are so far away. Mr. Cruz shows us a picture of the night sky. He points at a group of stars. I see a square here, he says. Does anyone else see shapes in the stars? There are 88 constellations in the night. We see triangles, rectangles, and many other shapes. You can draw pretend lines to connect stars, just like a dot to dot, says our teacher. We learn that a group of stars that makes a shape is called a constellation. What would happen if we stayed up all night and watched the stars, Mr. Cruz asks. I'd be too tired at school the next day, Akiko says. Our teacher laughs. That's true, he says, but we would also see another pattern. The stars look like they move across the sky from east to west. Our class has learned that there are a lot of patterns in the sky. We just have to observe them. Shadow tracking. Have you ever noticed that your shadow changes during the day? Those changes follow a pattern and the pattern depends on where the sun is in the sky. Trace your shadow on the ground to discover this pattern for yourself. What you need, a sunny day, pavement such as sidewalk, sidewalk chalk, a friend to help. Number one, go outside in the morning on a sunny day. Notice where the sun is in the sky. Number two, find a sidewalk or another paved area away from the buildings, from buildings and trees. Trace the outline of your feet. Number three, stand up straight and ask your friend to trace your shadow on the ground. Number four, go outside again at noon and notice where the sun is. Put your feet in the same place where you trace them on the sidewalk. Ask your friend to trace your shadow again. Number five, repeat again in late afternoon. How did your shadow change during the day? What kind of pattern did it follow? Glossary, constellation a group of stars that form a shape, globe, a ball-shaped map of the world, horizon, the line where the sky and land seem to meet, observations, things you notice when you watch carefully, pattern, something that is repeated again and again, waning, appearing to become smaller, waxing, appearing to become larger.